When Mason came here, we had no idea who he was. We don't harbor criminals here, if that's where this is all leading. And did he strike you as a man capable of committing murder? They say we're all capable of violence uh, at one time or the other. No, but your personal opinion, I mean, you know, off the record. Mason was troubled, but aren't we all? But why, why would he choose this particular church? I have no idea. Well, that's, you know, that's very interesting, because apparently Mason claimed to have evidence linking this church to the man that committed the murder, well, Mark McCormick's murder. Really? What kind of evidence? Well, there was a nun that lived here. Somebody had a very emotional connection to the murder victim. Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, Mary Duval, she left here some time ago, but uh, Mason mentioned her more than once or twice. Uh, they must have been very close. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Yes. Excuse me, Father. Oh, Castillo, now what are you doing here? I was hoping you might be able to spare me a few moments to answer some questions regarding Mason Capwell. Hey, stand in line, babe. You know, I got here first, and uh, don't you have a grieving person in your family you should take care of? Whatever I can do to be of service. Actually, I have been retained by his fiancée to conduct an investigation into the circumstances surrounding Mr. Capwell's death. What would she like to know? Well, it is her theory that that death is not the accident it seems. She thinks he was murdered. <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickens. I tell you, I'm going to take a seat here. This, this is going to be good.